Shalom, brothers and sisters. We want to give all glory and praises to Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. This is a channel update. We have some backup channels and a new channel created. Church Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai Ba is a new channel that we'll be uploading regular content to. We also have the Spiritual Art of War, which is our backup page. We have Church Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai is lit. There will be links in the description box so that way you can link, subscribe, and remember to hit the notification bell because, as you know, there's a suppression of the truth and many brothers and sisters are not able to get alerts of the content because there's a shadow ban on many of the uh, pages throughout YouTube. And any additional pages or content uh, that will be created in any other websites, we will update accordingly if time permits. Shalom. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him. And all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him, even so. Amen. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, saith the Lord, which is and which was, and which is to come, the Almighty. Father and Yahweh Shai being the name of his one and only God's son. Uh, today we're going to go into, uh, you know, what's going on right now among our people. Uh, just the, a lot of these political movements, uh, the use of celebrity to basically keep our, the minds of our people really in a state of confusion. And, uh, you know, a lot of things have happened over the last couple of weeks in the celebrity world. Uh, that celebrity world stuff is always being infused and used upon our people. Social media has been used to basically control the minds of where our people are, are right. at, at any moment. Um, we're the only group of people that wholeheartedly follow celebrity and what celebrities are doing. What I mean by that is follow after what they say. Our, our leaders are not people that are in the scriptures. From the word of the Lord, our leaders are the people that are on social media, being paid millions of dollars, living a lavish lifestyle, and that's what our people tend to respect. They don't respect the wisdom that comes from the word. So, uh, because of that, when certain celebrities say things, it's more magnified, and a lot of our people start to take heed and start to uh, listen to what those celebrities say. It goes viral. So we're gonna talk about a couple of different situations that have happened over the last uh, few days and weeks. One of those being is the Kanye West situation and what his situation means and what it shows us. And also we're gonna talk about basically just the state of our nation with what's going on in this country economically but what's also going on globally and what is being prepared. Right. So the brother's going to go into a precept. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 26. For ye see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, not, not many mighty, not many noble are called. The, the, the Most High say that not many wise men and not many noble and not many mighty men are called, you know, are called to do this work, you know? Because you got guys like Kanye West who's out there, think he knows a little something, you know, about, about the truth, about his heritage, but 
he's really out there making a fool of himself, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Because the Most High has chosen a, pick, a particular group of people that he's going to use to do his work, man. And not everybody's built for this. Yep. You know? You got to you got to be a certain type of person, have a certain type of character to, to, to come out and do this work. That's why you see brothers falling out on a daily basis that's doing this. Yep. Kanye West is not built for this, man. Stick to the microphone. I mean, if you want to be, if you want to, if you know the truth and know who you are, it's not, it's not your job to make it public. You yep. know what I'm saying? Yep. Unless you just want to throw everything away. If you yep. want to throw everything you have away, then you go ahead and make it public. You know? Yep. That's why the Most High say not many uh, mighty, uh, noble are called to this thing. You know? Because the enemy is going to take all your wealth. Yep. He already got your heritage. Come on. He already got, you know, he got your, he got your heritage. He got your, you know, your, your God. He got your land. And so, and when you open, you need to be like what the scripture say, uh, Matthew 10 and 16. You got to be uh, smart as a dove, and you know, yeah. and wise as a serpent in this thing, man. Right. Yeah. You can't just be freely, uh, be nilly willy like you doing. Because yeah. it's, it's just, it's, it's just how it is, man. Like, like you say, Kanye is not built for this thing. Yeah. He's not built for the truth. So if you want to worship the Most High Yahweh, you got to do it in secret, man. Like how you see a lot of the rich, uh, wealthy, the Pharisees, how they did some in the, the scriptures. Secret, some of the secret disciples. Yeah, they did it in secret. Yeah. You know, send your donations to whichever particular group that you support and, and just do your worship in secret, man. Yeah. Because, the, because these Edomites is not going to let you have the fabulous life and then talk down on them at the same time. Yeah, God is in a state of confusion because... He sees like the stuff. You see, a lot of these jakes that want to like, even a, even as a guy, he's worth. He, as they say, he's worth billions of dollars. But he's off to cut that like this because mm -hmm. his net worth is tied to what he's able to do with the money. It's right. like Oprah. Her net worth was tied to her being in cahoots with, with their corporation, with CBS and Discovery. Because her, her own network is with Discovery Network. Right. So the contract she has with OWN. Or production companies through an Edomite company. That's right, man. Just like anybody else, like 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 Jordan, he's a billionaire because he's tied to an Edomite corporation in Nike. Like, like that's the curse. Yeah. We got to go to our enemy in the want of all things, man. Yeah. Whether you a billionaire, you are gonna still have to bow down to your enemy to yeah. get what you want, in one way or another. But he did it. He can act like he owned Revolt all he want. Yeah. You know, but if behind the scenes it's an Edomite yeah. network that he got to deal with. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of these guys have got to answer to people above them. And Kanye, I mean, Kanye's trying to run. If Kanye really understood the truth of the scriptures, he wouldn't be trying to run for no president. Right. Because if you understand this is Babylon the Great, why are you trying to be president of a place that's hard yeah. to that ought to be destroyed. That's, that's, that's right. prophesied right. to be destroyed. Yeah. So that don't you just what, what, what can you possibly talking about earlier, J.P. Morgan yeah. is uh, saying he can't bank with them no more. That's the curse, man. That's the curses. So, that's why a lot of these, a lot of these, it's probably him. Oh, yeah, sure is. It's probably him. A lot of these celebrities, they're the biggest illusion for a lot of our people. Because if you're desiring to be as powerful or as rich as some of these celebrities, one of the things y'all don't realize is that they're under control. Y'all push them as like, oh, black excellence. Yeah. Oh, Jay-Z, Beyonce, black excellence. Oh, Kanye West, black excellence. 
Of what? So he sold a few shoes. So Marty could go make another Kanye. You have the power to do that. They can go get another guy from a quirky background that can rap, make some beats, and push him to the forefront. And make him a big name. That's why the most high is not allowing the word to come out from these, these type of men. You have to, you, you, you can't, a lot of these men that are in that sphere, like Diddy, like the brother brought out earlier, oh, we do gotta bring up Diddy as well. In him situation with Mace. Right. Him and Mace can be going back and forth. Mace is talking about how every guy that he worked, every uh, person that Diddy worked with either died or is destitute. Yep. Almost all his artists are dead. All his male artists are all dead. I think the only one that's still alive is Mace. And is it Loon? Uh, Craig Mack dead. Biggie dead. Uh, Black Rock dead. Yeah. Yep. I didn't see a video. That's three of that man major artists. <laughs> that's not here no more. Not here, bro. And they can't, you know, they can't back up what they saying. That's what Mace was saying. The Loon and Shine went into jail. He say either or they didn't sign something to where they couldn't say nothing. You know, that's what Mace said. It's in your mama name. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Your mama got the receipts. Your mama got the receipts. <laughs> <laughs> he said his mama got the receipts. Oh my goodness. He not lying, man, because I done heard that before. Yeah. That his mama hold all his books. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. Or used to, I don't know about now. Man. But I did hear that in the past. So these guys, these gents y'all look up to, some of them are handlers. Uh because they, they they keep their mouths shut about what's really going on at the very top. So they they, they invite them to these Met Gala balls, right? Yeah. They give them these lifetime achievement awards, give them a star on the Hollywood Boulevard. You, 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 also, you, you saw? Did y'all go to the Hollywood Boulevard? Yeah, 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 we've seen that. Uh -huh. They put a star on the Hollywood Boulevard. Yep. So you can solidify yourself as uh, as one of the people that made an impact in Hollywood. And Hollywood is so whack right now, they can't even come up with no original ideas. Yep. And they came up with a, they're coming up with a new house party. They have no new ideas, man. This this whole, I don't know what it is, bro. Like this whole recent month or two, like in this place, man, it just been crazy. Just yeah. been like a, a, a whole bunch of folly, man. Like, like the brother just was showing me a video in Florida where Trina and some tranny looking dude Got a music video talking about ain't giving up no more box unless you go out and vote. Yeah. Because the men ain't voting. The men are seeing that the game is rigged. The Jake man, especially the Judite man, they're noticing in the polls, CNN and MSNBC talking about it, that the men are either going, they're either not voting or they're going Republican. Mm -hmm. And then there, and then Stacey Abrams needs the needs Jake's to vote yep. out there in Florida for her to win. And he was like, they were like, hey, we're realizing that the men need to go out and vote if we're going to win. Yeah. So now they're trying to find a way to encourage the men to vote, and they came up with a, with a freaking song. I guess they sat there at the, had a, uh, what you call that, that the Edomites have? The, the think, they had the think, think tank. tank. Think tank. They had the think tank going on and say, hmm, how, we how what can make the black, what is what the black male wants the most? And I guess they thought of box. Yeah. So okay, let's just take the box away from them. Yeah. And see if that'll get them to vote. Man, this place is done, man. Whenever you get together, get that low and try to bring down a particular group of people, it's it's done. It's but right. this place been pushing. Um, Feminism at an all-time high. 
upon the black man. And it's actually a war against the black male right now in this place. And it's being pushed at a whole time high, man. You got these movies coming out that's coming up against the black male. I mean, it just been, it's a bunch of fathers. Yeah, besides the woman king. Yeah, and now you got the, uh, what, the, the Black Panther yep. coming out. Man. Yeah, I saw their trailer for that one. Wakanda Forever. Yeah. You got the Wakanda Forever. Yeah, because um, yeah, if you're classified, basically anybody that they've uh, deemed and classified as a GM, the black male, is basically the enemy of the state. And they only want you to serve their purpose. Really, of their own demise. That's why you got a lot of guys, a lot of younger guys are seeing the handwriting on the wall. A lot of them are just getting their passports. That's it. And they don't even need to be millions of them. Yeah. If, if 10,000 guys get their passports, that's 10,000 less guys feeding the beast. That's 10,000 less guys feeding the beast and the, and the madness that's going on among our people. Yo, let's see if I can get fired this real quick. is the performance of the law and the knowledge of his omnipotency. Uh, if a servant say to his master, I will not do as it pleaseth thee, though after he doeth, he angereth him that nourished him. The knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom, neither at any time the counsel of sinners prudence. When you go into this particular time, a lot of people are trying to basically make you do things that are contrary against the uh, uh, words of the Lord. That's right, man. They're trying to teach you how to get at a higher level of wicked vi vibration. Who's, who's, who's the, who is contrary of the Most High? Yep. Satan. Yep. So if you going against what the Most High say, you operate in a wicked manner, man, after Satan. Yep. But what you just read, you just described Kanye West and his situation. Yeah. What did they say? If the, what did they say? If the servant, the servant do against his master's will? Yeah. If the if a servant say to his master, I will not do as, as it pleaseth thee, though afterward he, he do it, he angers him uh -huh. that nourish him. Kanye did what he didn't want. He did. He went right against what his master wanted yeah, him to do. He was angry. And his master got angry, so what he do? Shut him out from the bank. Yep. Come get your money up out of here. Because he was brother. nourishing him, man. Yeah. Like you, you done bit the hand and fed you. So you already, made, you, did. you already made him angry. Add some more on that? Yeah, some more. Um, in fact, it was, I think it was further down. Okay. We'll start, go down to version. Is it Sirach? 19 and 26. 
there is a wicked man that hangeth down his hand, his head sadly, but inwardly he is full of deceit. Casting down his countenance and making as if he heard not, where he is not known. He will do thee a mischief before thou be aware. And if, and if for want of power he be hindered from sinning, yet he findeth opportunity, he will do evil. Adidas execs, he'll be with music execs, and they'll be sitting there acting like, oh man, yeah, we hear you, Kanye. Uh -huh. But as soon as you miss that, yep. boom, it's on your neck. You're on you. See, a lot of the Edomites, man, what they do, they're very crafty. They'll get you very comfortable, get you feeling yourself, they'll hype you up, knowing that you're about to cause your own fall. That's right, man. And a lot of them, a lot of them jinxes in the industry. Why do you think Jay-Z don't do it, bro? That's what that, that's what that whole matter is. Like the scriptures say, folly is set in great dignity. They give this type of power and authority to the foolish men. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And like Kanye, he go and do some foolish, he do foolish type stuff, man. Yeah. Now, I agree with him 100% who the, who the Jews are and who the Jews not. That's what really pissed them off. That was the touchy subject. Yeah, yeah, not the White Lives Matter. Nah, it wasn't the White Lives Matter shirt. It was when he said that they wasn't the true Jews. Yep. And that we are the true Jews. That's what pissed them off. Yep. And so I agree with him on that 100%. And you can prove that biblically. Yep. He said he's about to go DEF CON 3 on the That's right. And they even tell you that in their own books. That we are the true people, man. We are the people of the Most High God. Yep, yep. They know this. But you're not supposed to say it. You're not supposed to say it. Or you supposed because to say it. if it wasn't the truth, they would not do nothing about it. They wouldn't even care. They'd just blow it off. Yeah, yeah. But like you, I like the like the saying say, the truth hurts. So when he spoke the truth, it hurt him. What he should have said is how his how their people finance the slave trade. That's right, man. He could have talked about Lehman Brothers, yep. about how they wrote an apology about how they were involved in the slave trade. You right. could have brought that up. None of them could have refuted it. That's right. Yeah, you could pull up the letter and put it up on, on, on yep. social media. Yeah. That their people were the ones that was financing the slave trade. He could have just brought out the scripture that our land will be occupied by the Gentiles until the time of the Gentiles come, man. Yeah. You know? Meaning those people in the, in our land right now are not the Israelites. Yep. They are Gentiles. Not I mean, the Gentiles. We can go through this book all day and prove it that we are the most high. We are the children of God. The children of Yahweh. I don't want anybody to get simple now. The brother's talking about the natural Gentiles. Right. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm talking about. Get simple now. The natural Gentiles. You don't Gentiles. get too many lessons on this subject. Right. Guys go, I don't want no brother coming, come on, they confuse all of a sudden. Uh -huh. And why Esau can't make it? See, we're too far gone with that. If you want to worry about Esau making it, you can go to your nearest uh, Edomite that owned the plantation in the county near you and tell him you forgive him. That's right. That you want to make him a, a, a fellow heir with you and see if the Most High going to let that happen. Yeah. He's going he to cast you out with him. That's right. like the brother said, to the, to the time of the Gentiles be fulfilled. That's right. Now, in fact, there was another one. Y'all can flip right over. Let's see. Now, the brother early was talking about heritage, about how we were given a heritage. Now, we know, according to Malachi, the Most High told Malachi to tell the people, that he laid the mountains and heritage of Esau's waste for so right. the dragons in the wilderness. Now this is um, this is Sirach chapter 44 in verse um, verse 19. Abraham was a great father of many people and glory was there none like unto him. 
who kept the law of the Most High and was in covenant with him. He established a covenant in his flesh, and when he was proved, he was found faithful. Therefore, he assured him by an oath, that's right, that he would bless the nations in his seed, and that he would multiply him as the dust of the earth, and exalt his seed as the stars. Bless the nations in his seed. Yep. Now, is, is everybody in the world the seed of Abraham? Come on, bro. No. Come on, bro. So, that is not talking about, I mean, they gonna get blessed through the Israelites once we get set up, because we gonna be a blessing to the world. But this is not pertaining to nobody but to Israel, man, through Abraham's seed. That's right. That's why he said, blessed is he that, blessed the incursive is he that cursed. That's right. So these other nations don't even only receive a modicum uh -huh. of blessing just by blessing That's Israel. the only way. That's why it's in a seed single. That's right. That's what Galatians is talking about. Right. You got to get that. Galatians 3 and 8. Um, that you will bless the nation in his seed and that he would multiply him as the dust of the earth and exalt his seed as the stars and cause them to inherit from sea to sea and from river unto the uttermost part of the land. Which is talking about the blessing, I believe, in Genesis 15, which is basically the, uh, the land that he promised his seed that he would get. That's right, man. Verse 22, with Isaac did uh -huh. he establish likewise. Right. For Abraham, his father's sake, the blessing of all men and the covenant, and made it to rest on upon the head of Jacob. He acknowledged him in his blessing and gave him inheritance and divided his portions among the 12 tribes he departed. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and his seed, man. Yep. Those are the seeds of Abraham. Yep. Isaac and Jacob and his seed. We know that Abraham had more than one son. But the promise only went to Jacob, man. I mean, to Isaac. And that's it. Let me get that Galatians. I got this is Galatians 3 and verse 7. Know ye therefore that they which are of faith the same are the children of Abraham, and the scripture foresee that God would justify the heathen through faith, preached before the gospel unto Abraham, saying, In thee shall all nations be blessed. So then they which be of faith are blessed with the faithful Abraham. For as for as many as are of the works of the law, but well, that's going into something else. Yeah. But, it's only the faithful seed of Abraham, man. Yeah. And don't get it twisted because he said that heathen, them heathens is talking about Israel. Yeah, yeah. But we ain't gonna go from the subject right now. We're gonna stay on Esau and prove who the children of Israel are, according to the scriptures. In Revelation 2 and 9. Oh, just go down to go down to 14 to 16 in Galatians. Galatians. Now the brother was bringing out how how the promise is seed. How the promise is coming from the, the seed. The seed that was promised, and then you saw how after that it said that seed was Isaac. Uh -huh. And the brother was talking about how that is from 16. This is Galatians chapter 3 and verse 16. Now to Abraham and his seed, singular, were the promises made. He said not, and to seeds as of many, but as of one, and to thy seed, which is Hamashiach. Yeah. So the promise of that seed went down to Mashiach, which that promise was done through other promises like the one that the Most High established with David, that after him, out of his flesh will come his seed. That's right. 
which was basically the Messiah. That's why when you go back into the old, into the um, gospel accounts, the people were new they had, that the Messiah had to come. Yeah. They deemed them according to the promise. Yeah. It wasn't about the other nations. That's right, man. It's never been about the other nations, man. Yeah. It's always been about Israel. Yeah. From from Genesis all the way to Revelations, it's all about Israel, man. Yeah. You can go ahead and get that. Because why would this be in here if the other nations is, is important? That's right. The brother gonna read it. This is Revelations chapter 2 and verse 9. I know thy works and tribulations and poverty, but thou art rich, and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. The Most High said that he knows, he know thy works and tribulation and poverty. He know what his people go through. He know we suffering. He say, but we are rich. Why? Because we go inherit the kingdom. Yep. That's why we rich. But he say he know the lies of them who say they are us and are not. He talking about those people over there in, the, in Israel. Yeah. The fake Jews call themselves Jewish. <laughs> they don't they, they are Jewish with the I S H. Yeah, Kanye can't go around saying that when he's shaking hands and doing business deals with the same people. That's right, man. You know better. You can't do that, man. These guys can erase you, bro. Like, you ain't gonna have no bank to bank with. You ain't gonna be popping them in no shows where you uh -huh. don't really care about them shows anymore. Right. You, you know, but they can stop you from being able to make music. Ain't no Kanye West album probably coming out no more, unless you do a, hey, what happened with Nick Cannon? Yep. Nick Cannon started saying stuff, they tried to erase his whole show. They made him go lick some boots and everything and get that back. Yeah, went and bought an Emily Kite on his show. Yeah. Went and bought an Emily Kite on his show. They made him sit there and say all kind of, man, all, all kind of, you know, he see Nick Cannon is a totally different person now, man. Hey, Nick Cannon, all that money he got, all the money. Do we still got his podcast? He ain't got that no more, do we? No. But it's about his show. Yeah, he got, got that back. He got that back. That was his, that was his brain child. He wanted that. Because they was ready to give it to um, to one of them other guys. I think DC Youngfly, one of them. But wait. They was going to try and give that show over to him, and DC rejected it, saying he can't do that to his boy. The Revelation 2 and 9. Yep. What they say that? Sometimes they'll say that that's talking about the wicked Jews. You know what I'm saying? But then you can go get Revelation 3 and 9. What is it? 3 and 8. I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee and... No, that's the wrong one. Verse 9. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet, and to know that I have loved thee. Now, if you in this truth and you know like the scriptures, the other nations are gonna, are gonna worship at the Israelites' feet. Right. And this is a precept to Revelation 2 and 9, to show you that the Most High was speaking prophetically about there was gonna be some people that's gonna be saying that they you, but they really not. And these same people that's claiming to have your identity, they're gonna come bow down and worship at your feet when the kingdom is set up. And how do we know that? What's the other? I can get a, can get a pre -sale. Go ahead. Got another revelation to it. Uh, 26. Now you can go right up. Talking about what they gonna do. Got it gonna come to the feet. Yeah. Oh, it's, go ahead. Yeah. This is uh, Isaiah 45 and 14. Thus saith the Lord, the labor of Egypt and the merchandise of Ethiopia and of the Sabians, men of stature, shall come over unto thee, and they shall be thine. They shall come after thee in chains. They shall come over, and they shall fall down unto thee. Uh -huh. They shall make supplication unto thee, saying, Surely God is in thee, and there is none else. There is no God. That's right, man. So they're going to come down, and they're going to bow down. They're going to in chains. That's saying right. God is in thee. All, all you other nations yep. that's not part of Israel yep. are going to bow down to the true Israelites one day. Yep. Lord willing, it's sooner than, than later. Yep. But it's going to happen. Because the Most High, again, His word 
not come back and return for it. Whatever he say, it's going to come to pass. Oh, we got more. It keeps getting better. Verse 15, Verily thou art a God that hidest thyself, O God of Israel, the Savior. They shall be ashamed and also confounded, all of them. They shall go to confusion together that are makers of idols. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. He shall not be ashamed nor confounded, world without end. Mm. We that world that's not going to be confounded or no ashamed. So all the makers of idols is going to be ashamed and confounded. Yep. The that's one, right, when, man. The, when the real, when the when the real manifestation comes of the of the Israelites, the true God of Israel, the Savior Yahweh Shai, all these other nations are going to be confounded. Yep. They're going to be looking at their idols like, wait, hold up. Wait, we was worshiping this, and this is the true God? You know? Yep, that's right, man. Elite, and God is with these people? And that's why in Numbers, in Numbers 23. Yep. Get this. When they were told, when uh, the king of Moab sent the prophet that, sent that heathen to curse Israel, when, he, when the Most High allowed him to see the glory of Israel in the future, he was like, I, I wish I could be like these people. Yep. In that day. This is Joel chapter 2 and verse 25. And I will restore to you the years that the locust has eaten, the canker worm, and the caterpillar, and the, and the polymer worm, my great army which I set among you. And ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. And praise the name of Yahweh, your God, that has dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall never be ashamed. Come on. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. And I am, I am Yahweh, your God, and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. Come on. So... Yahweh is the God of Israel. We have no other God, no other nation has a God named Yahweh but the, the children of Israel. Yep. And I, that's what the controversy of this whole thing is, I, because um, I was watching Redacted, he just reminded me when you said that. And uh, in, on Redacted, they, they, uh, they're like an alternative news source I've, I've recommended to y'all brothers to follow. And they, they go into like what's going on with the World Economic Forum. They don't really go deeply, heavily into the money system, but they go into like how the globe, the, the global league, how they want to control your energy, how they want to control birth rates, how they want to basically depopulate the world. They also talk about the Ukraine and Russia thing. And you know what's very interesting? In one of the videos, Russia was making what had a commercial that they're showing in their country where they're making fun of America. And they were showing how America is like pushes gender, uh, gender confusion, um, how they claim to be. Uh, these beholders of freedom and free speech, but in, but in America you're really not because you're getting banned. You can't say this, that, and other. So they're making fun of it. Yeah. In the end, they, were show, they showed a Jake. This is a Russian commercial now, where Jake was trying to go to the restroom on an airplane, and they were they were making fun that America has to play sensitive to to Jake to a so-called black. People. So, the Russians was making fun of white Americans that y'all have to basically be careful what y'all say or how y'all treat black people. Now, what does that show us? That shows us that either the Russian Edomite nor the Edomite over here care about you, Jakes. Right. But y'all are on their mind. Yep, that's right. 
some reason you're on their mind. For some reason you're still on their mind over there in Russia, and they don't like you either, but they're making fun of Edomites having to be played politically correctness uh -huh. around Jake for yeah. the racism that they've done to us. Yeah. I'll play the video, Lord willing. Ain't that something? When I saw that, I was talking to the brother, Matar, and I was like, yo, that's messed up. And he said, he said that shows that they don't care about us either side. I said, I'll be right. It's right. When, when he said that, I said, you're right. That shows that this whole war is really about the contrast of Zion. Because deep down inside, with this war versus Russia and Ukraine, NATO versus BRICS, uh -huh. deep down inside, there's a little footnote in this that has both sides. They mind is on Jake. It's on Jake. On Judah. Yep. In a deep recess of their mind, somehow this controversy of this World War III is really about you. That's it. And that's what it tells you in there. This is for the controversy of Zion. The most is making these countries go to war against each other, ultimately because of the controversy of Zion. That's, um, that's what it boils down to. So remember when you see these, these political, geopolitical, political wranglings, it's all about all about this Because they're trying to maintain power to ensure that power is transferred to the people. And that's why they spend billions of dollars to these rappers, entertainers, to keep the people dumbed down. That's why they promote everything that's low vibrational among our people. Yep, that's right, man. This is Isaiah 34 and verse 6. The sword of the Lord is filled with blood. It is made fat with fatness and with the blood of lambs and goats and with the, with the fat of the kidneys of rams. For Yahweh has a sacrifice in Basra and a great slaughter in the land of Idumea. And the unicorns shall come down with them and the bullocks and the bulls and the land shall be soaked with blood and their dust made fat with fatness. For it is the day of Yahweh's vengeance and the year of recompense for the controversy of Zion. Ask a Christian what is the year of, why is the Mosai committing vengeance on the earth in the last days? And, and he named a particular group of people he's gonna commit vengeance against for the sake of Zion. Hey, that's why vocab, he can't answer any questions concerning the end times of Eden. He gotta run and avoid it. That's right, man. Every time you bring up Edom and last day prophecies, he has no word. Yep. Because you can't put it on the Arabs. That's right, man. Because the so-called white man himself can hear the hand of the Arabs. That's right. He already been doing it the last 50-something years. Yep. They got Since what? They Since got already got a name of 1948. What the Arabs call it? Great Satan. Shut up. They got Yom Kippur. Hey, they already got the name for you over there, man. Them Edomites already done, done beat the Arab armies multiple times over in the last 50 years. That's right, man. Going back to the, the Seven Day War, the Yom Kippur. Uh huh. Right? That's it. That's it, now, the Palestinians got pushed out, or getting pushed out of the land and being mistreated on a daily basis. Right. So what, why, is the, why is the Lord going to come back and put them down when you ready to take care of them? That's it. You know, that ain't the soundtrack right here. It, it's, it's fitting. The earth won't win the car. That's the way of the world, man. That's one of my old man's favorite songs. Right. He keep you know, that's out. the way of the world. These Edomites ruling it, running it into the ground, greedy, wanting to dominate everything, don't want to give back what he stole. So that's why he's going to, but like he says in Job, he go, God, we're going to throw back help. He's going to regurgitate it all up. That which he stole. Yeah. Don't give up all the riches one way or another. Yep. This is 34 and 9. And the streams thereof shall turn into pitch, and the dust thereof into brimstone, and the land thereof shall, shall become burning pitch, and it shall not be quenched night nor day. The smoke thereof shall go up forever. 
from generation to generation, it shall be fly waste. None shall pass through it forever and ever. That's Malachi, what the brother quoted earlier in Malachi 1 and 1, yeah. that this place is going to be desolate. Yeah. Prophet, all the prophets prophesied the downfall of this place, man. You know what's crazy, God? When you really think about it, like, a lot of times, when, like what the brother just read, visualize it. What we have to understand is that this place is the crowning jewel achievement of the Edomite nation. Yep. No one, no one walking down this street right now believes this place is going to be wiped off the earth. Nobody. 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 They think it's going to last forever. They literally, that's something that's unfathomable. Why would you even want to live in a place like this forever, man? This place is incest with wicked. Um, it's, 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 it's the epitome of wickedness. Yep. Other countries don't even be want to affiliate themselves with this place because it's so filthy with wickedness. Yeah. <laughs> It's crazy, bro. Like, you got Edomites that are, they talk about how great America used to be, make America great again. They say America used to be a great place. When? Was it great when your, when your ancestors stepped foot to slaughter the Northern, North American Indians? Was it great the day that Christopher Columbus set soil on the island? Like, when did it start being great, and then when did it end, and tell us why? Yeah. Because we're still trying to figure out the, the beginning of greatness that shall start. And see, these Edomites, they don't want to, they don't want to admit that this place was founded on, 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 the, on the greatest mass genocide ever that they recorded. Perpetual waste. That's right. I'm now, yeah. Now, when you go further on, it talks about Edom and what's going to happen with Edom. Now, Basra is is Edom. It's just another name. It's like calling us Jerusalem. It's like calling 
city of the people after their after you know the city is associated with the people too. Now we're gonna go down. Let's go down a few verses. Go to verse 17. Also, Edom shall be a destination. Everyone that goeth by it shall be astonished. They shall kiss at the place thereof. As in the overthrow of Sodom and Gomorrah, and the neighbor cities thereof, saith the Lord, no man shall abide there, neither shall a sinner man dwell in it. That same thing that's talked about in Revelation. That's the same thing, man. This place is going to be laid waste and desolate, and nobody is never going to live here ever again. That's saith the Lord. Yep. And if anybody else believe otherwise, they don't believe in the scriptures. That's what, that's if, if your pastor and your preacher is not preaching or prophesying the downfall of this place, he's not a preacher, man. If you're not preaching the words of this book, you're not a preacher. If you're preaching prosperity and, and preaching motivation and not preaching the words of, uh, of Yahweh, you not you can't call yourself a preacher, man. Uh -huh. What the scripture say? What that in? Uh, is it? Is it Jeremiah twenty-eight? What is it? Where they say the uh, the prophets of old? Yeah. The prophets of old uh, prophesied against many. Prophesied against many kingdoms, okay. nations, and kings. Because you, today you got a lot of preachers, so-called preachers. That you can go to sit in the church, they won't even open up the Bible and read not one scripture, man. They will come with a a, 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 a whole tablet of what they done, they gonna have a tablet, a literary tablet, like an iPad. They gonna come up there with a with a script that they done wrote. Yep. Read that, motivate you, send you on up out the door. And call, and then you're gonna be like, ooh, that was that boy that preached, he tore it up. But he ain't preached nothing, he didn't preach the word. So he's not a preacher. How can you call that man a preacher if he's not preaching the word of God? Come on. This is uh, Jeremiah chapter 28, verse 8. The prophets that have been before thee and bef before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries, uh -huh. against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. That's right. Is, isn't that this place a, a great kingdom of evil? A great kingdom of war. Yep. Of pestilence. Of pestilence. All kind of diseases over here. That's right, man. No doubt. Rampant uh, everything. All the prophets prophesied against this place. So why would the prophets, the people that call their prophets today, don't prophesy against this place, man? That's how you know the most high true prophets is out here in the streets. Doing his work. Yep. You're not going to sit in some multi-million dollar building and sit in there and, and, and don't speak the word of God and say you a prophet, man. Or, or, get on, or get over somebody and prophesy, I see wealth in your future. I see a nice home in your future. That's not a prophet, man. Yeah, if you ain't gonna buy me a baby with your homes right now. That's right. Interest rate is so high. The prices are so high. You gotta make like 50% more money than you were making three years ago to buy the same house. Uh-huh. That if, if you bought a house in 2019, if you try to buy that same house today, mo most people can't even afford it. Wouldn't be qualified. And, and it's based a lot on of the people. value of it going up and based on the interest rate. On social media too, you see a lot of people on there pushing like that, like manifesting things that they want. You know what I'm saying? I've been seeing that stuff a lot. Oh yeah. And like I, I ran across, I didn't even watch it because the things seemed so wicked. I watched the first few minutes, I said, nah, I can't even watch this. It's actually, that's what Scientology believes. Yep. You know, that type of stuff, setting up vision boards, all of this, that's Scientology, man. That's what they believe. Like, you can just think it, manifest it, ran over something. And, and it's going to happen. Because it's a movie, it's a documentary on, uh, I want to say it's on Netflix. It's called, uh, it's called The Secret. Yeah, that, the secret. Yeah, that's the guy that, uh... You ever watch that? No, I ain't talking Man, I said, I don't want to see this, That's man. the one that, uh, Oprah was promoting. 
Yeah, I, I, I couldn't even watch it. We got watch. a book that came out here back in the 90s and she was promoting on her book club. But that stuff is all go like with Scientology and all that type of stuff. That, but that's all based yeah, on the power of manifestation. Yeah. That's why when you ever work for a corporation, if you, they have you do what's called a vision board. Yeah, the vision board. They say that stuff is between Buddhism and witchcraft. Yeah. That's, that's, that's what that stuff is based on. Yeah, that vision board stuff. I, I didn't do it when I was working at these uh, corporations. They'll be like, hey, where's your vision board? When you first work there, they want you to put your vision board. And, and, they, and it's like, whatever it is you're trying to get, like a car, a house, wife, right. kids, family. And they make you do that vision board. It's part of the witchcraft of how they control you. Because now if they want you to like move up or do something, they'll be like, no, what about the home you want to get? Uh -huh. oh, they're going to be writing notes. How much is that going to cost you? How much you need to make to, uh, to own that home, that dream home that you want on your vision board? So now they're motivating you to do stuff for the company. Uh, yeah. To sell your soul for the company based on your vision board. Taking the most high straight out the, out the mix. And that stuff is a massive failure because a lot of women, y'all fall for that. A lot of y'all women is trying to manifest husbands but ain't going it through, through this through this way. Y'all just write these long lists of what you want in a man and saying it's gonna be manifest. But you ain't even becoming the woman that that man you trying to manifest wants. Right. Because it don't matter, he don't matter. You just you just look at a man like a Ken doll. You don't like Kevin Sarah say, you you gotta become the kind of woman that the man that you want wants. Yep. You can't just go there and just say, I want this type of man, and then you're not even thinking about what kind of man is going to be making X amount of money, bust his butt to be a successful man. What kind of woman do you think he wants? That's right, man. This, this is First Samuel 2 and, two and 7. Yahweh maketh poor and maketh rich. He bringeth low and lift it up. He raises up the poor out of the dust and lift up the beggar from the dunghill to set them among princes and to make them inherit the throne of glory. For the pillars of the earth are Yahweh's, and he has set the world upon them. So you can't get nothing in this world without the Most High giving it to you. Yep. If the Most High wants you to have riches, He gonna give it to you. If He wants you to be poor, that's where you gonna be. But uh, and best believe, ain't nothing else gonna give you riches but Satan. Yep. Satan the only one that's gonna give you some riches. Yeah. Yeah. The way if you ain't going through the Most High. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of these um. That's why they're showing the avenue for Jake of how to get rich. It's really through wickedness, man. That's right, man. That's all I'm, yeah, oh, I'm so happy for such and such. No glow real, she real. Yeah. It's like, oh, you want to get rich? Okay, uh, uh, sound and song. That's what they're going to show you. Because a lot of the ways to make, to get rich quick is already dried up. You had like the whole crypto era. In the early stages of the crypto, even a few years ago, it was even hard to get a, to get a wallet. Yeah. To get a crypto wallet. A lot of people got the original crypto wallets and they didn't move that money over. A lot of that stuff got taken. And the people that later on put money in, they got their money. Now, their lifestyle that they were living that they thought was going to keep going up because it was relying on the crypto to keep going up. Uh -huh. So you have people, they were sitting on millions of dollars in crypto. They were moving to these high-end cities, New York, LA, Miami. They were going and buying 
cars, renting out $10,000 a month apartments. That's right. And as the year went on, crypto was just going down. Now they're damn near back to square one. Yeah. For most of them. Some of them, they invested in property and things like that. But for most people, cost of living went up. Your job either fired people, let them go, didn't give them an increase according to the, the cost of living in this time. Right, huh? This is not all this is everything is getting worse. It's done, man. We're getting to the end of this thing. Jump right back on Esau though, right quick. Yeah, yeah. This is Amos chapter 9 and verse 11. And that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen and close up the breaches thereof. And I will raise up his ruins and I will build it as in the days of old. So the Most High is going to rebuild the house of David, man. He's going to establish the power back through the line of David. Right. That they may possess, who may possess? The house of David, that they may possess the remnant of Edom. Yep. And of all the heathen, all the heathen, which are called by my name, said Yahweh, that doeth this. So the, the remnant, I mean the house of David, which the Most High is going to restore, they're going to possess they going to possess the remnant of the heathen and the, and the remnant of Edom, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a, a word now. For remnant is like a word that means what remains after a slaughter. After a slaughter. Meaning the remaining portion. Yeah. Because when the, when, like, like he says, he's going to fill up, he's going to uh, make his uh, Israel his weapons and instruments of war. Uh -huh. In that same book, I mean, I don't know if it might be in the same, in uh, Amos 9, he, he talk about how he going to uh, uh, round up their kings and nobles and bind them with feathers and chains and throw them in a pit and leave them up in that pit. Meaning he gonna, we gonna, we going to capture them and save them for a particular time when we're going to come back and get them up out of that pit. Yep. Tells you that the, um, after the after the slaughter of the armies in the book of Ezekiel, how they're going to make the clean up the dead bodies. Yep, that's right, man. All the bones of the slain men, men of war. That's right. That's the one of their first things they're going to have to do. Yep. They're going to have to uh, bury all the dead the dead bodies. So. These people over there in, the, in, in, in our land right now that's possessing our land, which was prophesied that they was going to be there. Yep. But they are the enemies of the Most High, man. Yep. And, and, and what we just said, that, that's their that's they future. That tells you they took, they took the land to cast out of the, uh, out of, out of for a prey with a despiteful mind. That's right, man. And Moses said, I have heard the blasphemy that you spoke against me. Yep. That's what he told me. That's what he says in the, in, in the Bible. That's right, man. He said, I've heard the that you spoke against me for the land that you took, that you took as a for a prey uh -huh. and cast it with a despiteful mind. All these other nations always want to try to take our God. They want to try to take our God and be us. They, this ain't the first time they done done this type of stuff, man. You done had the Romans do it, even though they, used to, they the same people today. But they didn't they 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 didn't try to steal our heritage and they lift up our God like he's their God. And change the worship around. Yep. All that type of stuff, man. Hmm. But the most high say he's gonna restore it back to Israel, man. Just like in the days of old. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Because if you think about it, this man has been been ruling the earth for so long. Yeah. Like it tells you in Acts 2nd Ezra about how he ruled the world with much wicked oppression and how long have you about this, uh, you know, lived, dwelt on the earth with much deceit. Uh-huh. And, and that deceit come by, like I was just talking about, 
they, they took over our heritage, our religion, and they thought they took our God with a false image. They got the, they got the doctrine going around in yep. the churches. You know, love thy enemy. You know, they, all that false doctrine that they got our people believing in these churches. I mean, they've been lying for so long, they believe they believe in it themselves. Yeah, they believe that. Especially these everyday Edomites. That's right, man. And when you come to them, you're like, wait, you all you are the Christians, but look how everybody, you gave Christianity to everybody else on the planet at the force of a soul. Yeah. Where, 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 did, where did the apostles do that? You made them do it. You made them follow Christianity. You forced it with violence. Yep. So you're all supposed to be the freaking... Y'all supposed to be the ones we go to for the knowledge of the scriptures? Please. Come on, man. Even the Edomite, when you, if they came here and you talked to them, they'd be like, damn, yeah. you know? They're going to be like, sheesh, you know? They ain't going to know what to say. Most Christians come that you talk to, they don't know not one scripture in the Bible but John 3, 16. Yeah. But they going to tell you what you read and telling them is wrong. Yeah. That's how indoctrinated they are. They won't even open the book and read it for themselves, but they're going to believe what the oppressor have told them for the last 400 years about who they are, like Kanye West, the oppressor telling you how to be black. Come on. The same one that had you in slavery and in chains, going to label you a color, and then he's going to tell you how to be that color. Yep. And how he's telling you how to be that color is through the music. The television. How you vote, too. What, and, what did Biden say? Yeah. How you, you don't vote. vote for me, you ain't black. That's right. He defining what black is and telling you how you got to act it out. That's you right. got to vote for him. You got to vote for him. You ain't black. You don't vote for me, you not black. And a lot of you, Jakes, y'all didn't even feel offended by that. Right. Because again, when you have But somebody, when you allow somebody to give you your identity, then they got all the power over you. Yep, that's it. Kanye talked about that too. He said, uh, if we called ourselves not black, but what we really are, we probably care about each other more. Yep. But I don't know how true that is, considering that our people knew Israel 2,000 years ago, and you still have these leaders in Israel, just like men Join today, the side of the enemy. still yep. join the enemy anyway. Yep. All them Jasons. Got a bunch of Jasons today. Yep. Just lining up their pockets. For themselves while they see their people perish. Hand is over. Yep. That's a Jason. That's a Actually, a Jezebel. A Jezebel and a bed. Well, how you be a Jezebel and a bed at the same time? That's a Mary. <laughs> the, one, the, the, one that, the one that married the Idum, uh, and Idumian and had her brothers killed. She, yeah, yeah, she ready to put up people to death, right? Because remember. Uh, That's right. She. uh. You have the Maccabee brothers. Their whole line was wiped out with the help of their sister. Uh-huh. She married the Edomite. She had her brothers killed, her uncles, and everybody killed. Yep. That's who, that, that's who Candace is. The old y'all's black queen. Yep. Now she got a now she got a whole documentary. I don't know if it's out, but I know it's supposed to come out this month. On Black Lives Matter. Destroying it. Destroying Black Lives Matter. The thing about it, she destroyed the Black Lives Matter, but she don't care about yeah about about the British brutality. Right, right. She don't care about none of that. Because all she is is just a willing tool for these Edomites to use against Jane. That's it, man. Because if they say it, y'all gonna be more in the uproar than if she says. Look, I ain't saying it. Y'all own people saying it. I'm not saying it. Yep. Even though it's just one person, and they paying her good money. A lot of people might give her a dang of donations. Oh yeah, she get it. She get that bag. She get that bag. That's that's all. That's how that's Edom, Esau got petty money. That's Esau talking points now. Anytime you say something or see something so committed about Black Lives Matter, yeah. matter, Esau up in there in the comment. What are y'all doing? Y'all stole all this money. You doing all this with the money? That's they talking points now. Esau got more petty money than money than. Then you can use to build up the community. But we warned y'all when Black Lives Matter first started. Yeah. We're gonna turn y'all into the enemy with it. And just what happened. Just like we said earlier, if the most high ain't part of it, Satan running it. Yeah. And who you got running Black Lives Matter? Three lesbians. Yeah. 
And if that ain't Satan, that ain't part of Satan, I don't know what it is. It's George Soros that put the 30 something million dollars down. Uh-huh. And then you got the whole media. Anything that's on TV that's being promoted on the international media as some movement, understand it's already under control by them. Why would an eater might care about you, your well-being? Oh, that by the way, that's money. a that's a so-called Jew too. About okay. that, but put that much money in in, in a uh, a social program that's supposed to be for, for to help Jake. Why would he do that? Without it having another agenda, man. And that agenda is to make turn you make you look like the bad guy at the end. And it's just what's happening. And they're using the bad winch to do it. Can't dissolve us. But I ain't even seen the documentary. I seen the trailer, but I didn't see now one lie told <laughs> from what I seen in the trailer. The Medemite's gonna eat that they up. They're gonna eat it up, man. The Medemite's gonna be passing that stuff around, eating it up. Using her face as the. Yep. Like, I, 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 I got Edomites come up here back years back. We didn't say it. What do y'all think about Black Lives Matter? Broke it down. We said, Told you. I said, what do you think about police clubs? Let's start there. Yeah. What do you think about the freaking stolen limb? What do y'all think about uh -huh. uh, uh, mass incarceration? You jumping over. You jumping over them topics to get to Black Lives Matter. Yeah. Let's, you got you to gotta address them first. Then you can jump over and talk about Black yeah, Lives Matter. Yeah, let's go to origin of this stuff. Yeah. So you think that George Floyd should have choked to death for eight minutes? Let's uh -huh. start there. You might as well want to talk about the actual top, the real right. controversy. They want to get right to, to uh, oh, 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 they, they, they want to tear something down that seems like it's supposed to be something good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, That's yeah. what it is. They want to jump to that and try to tear that down because it seems like it's supposed to be something good for us. With brothers that's in the truth, no, it ain't. But to the ordinary, uh, to the sleek Negro, they think. BLM is, is, is something profitable for them. See how that ended up leading to leading to uh, the whole defund the police movement, which leads to bail reform, which is leading to them being allowing people to commit crimes and go back out and commit more crimes. Right. But they're saying the origin of them allowing these criminals out is because of bail reform and racism. You don't want them to. Uh -huh. And now y'all trying to get Jake to get out there and vote. For these, for these people, man. Esau, Esau, using all of that, uh, all of that for his, uh, for his weapons to get in office now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They getting, they using all that for their artillery to get in office. All that about defunding the police. That's that's what they campaigning on. Yep. On BLM and defunding the police and uh, no bail. Yep. They running on all that. They on what's the uh, what's the the, the the Hispanic judge over here? The dog on. They on her. Talking about how she could you know be letting out all these criminals on bond, then they go back and be repeat offenders and, and commit crimes. Yep. But I mean that's just how this place is. It's, it's just wicked. Like if somebody commits a crime, that, to me they should have a right to get a bond because you ain't proven them guilty yet. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But the eater might want to hold them in there. Yeah. Want to just keep them in there, sentence them and lock them up. Don't let them out again. But you ain't never like if somebody commit a crime today. But they, they assume you commit a crime, you go to jail, you pay bond, they gonna put you on probation. Yeah. You ain't even been to trial or not in the court yet or nothing proven guilty, but you on probation. Paying money every month to the probation office. And don't, lo and behold, if you slip up again, you done. But all of this, and you've never been to a trial or nothing yet and proving guilty, from the first charge. This place, man, it just set, it's, it's upside down, man. Basically what the scripture says in 2nd Edges 4 and 29 is like this place of miracle, 
what wickedness is sown, it has to be burned down. Like we was reading earlier. This place has to be destroyed in order for the righteous kingdom to be set up and to be ushered in. chapter 26 and verse 6. Now when Yahawashah was in Bethany, in the house of Simon the leper, there came unto him a woman having an alabaster box of very precious ointment, and poured it out, poured it on his head as he sat at meat. But when his disciples saw it, they had indignation, saying, To what purpose is this waste? For this, for this ointment might have been sold for much and given to the poor. When Yahawashah understood it, he said unto them, Why trouble ye the woman for this? For she has for she hath wrought a good work upon me. For ye have the poor always with ye, but me ye have not always. For in that she has poured this ointment on my body, she did it for my burial burial. Verily I say unto you, wheresoever this gospel shall be preached in the whole world, there shall also this that this woman has done be told for a memorial of her. So with that, I want to give all the glory and all the honor to Yahweh. In the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, peace and salutations to the brothers that's doing this work in truth and sincerity. Shalom.